It has landed Beasts of the Sanctuary update 22.20. This has brought, of course, Saren's rework. We'll get into that in a minute. There is the whole particle thing, and the one I've wanted to see this actually working on would kind of be that. Because, well, that's got to have something to do with the particles, right? The whole Oro thing over there. The lightning's pretty constant now. That's actually insane over what it was before. And then there is... Well, let's just jump in and have a look at it. The lighting in the dojo has been reworked. They are calling this Dojo Rework 3.0. Of course, 2.0, and I covered this the other day, allowed you to donate personal things. And if you do do that, be careful you can't get them back. So some things that are hard to get, yeah, they'll be gone once they're actually kind of donated. But you can change the lighting quite a lot, and it is visually, as soon as you enter it, you can tell the difference is huge. I mean, the gold is as weird as it may sound. It's actually gold. Wow, actually coming into a corridor there, that was way more noticeable than I thought it was going to be. The dojo itself... It's been changed a few times, but now the lighting is so much different than it was before. It's kind of nuts. Then, of course, there is this. This is the new obstacle course. It's a dead-end room. It's huge when you look at the map here. It only takes up... It takes up no capacity, actually, but does take up a little bit of power. And this will allow you to make your own obstacle courses so ah, you say it's going to take a day to build this you will be able to construct your own obstacle courses the platforms disappeared on there that looked fairly interesting the enemies you have to take them out to finish the obstacle course the kind of like dummies that you have to take out the like checkpoints there is checkpoints that you can actually enter as well not really sure how they work. The checkpoint is you have to go through them before getting to the end to stop people from taking shortcuts. But the whole thing in itself looks quite interesting. And really looking forward to see what people do with this room. Because the possibilities look pretty endless. It's Equinox's new alternate helmet. It looks really nice. In its combined form, really nice in either of the other forms it's the same helmet it just swaps color which is a really nice touch because i hate this whole half helmet that kind of comes with all of them this is the same one it's just the colors kind of change depending on the form then we have the start the first step in this whole UI change where you'll notice keyboard and mouse, we have the options at the bottom which is keyboard and mouse-ish, you just use it the same way you would any other time. This is going to go live on console eventually as well so you can have keyboard and mouse there. Then you touch the controller and all of the options have instantly changed. I was really hoping this wasn't going to be a thing but apparently it is. Uh, there it goes. Yeah. So you can't go up or down if you're on either side of... Nope. Just this one side. Oh, there it goes. That was weird. Not too sure what I think about that, but it's just to add the option of being able to move the controller around like a mouse. And give you the whole option of... Having full control of pretty much whatever you are doing. It's just you have to move it around like a mouse, which can actually take more time. Then there is this guy. He now has more items. I did it again. I touched the control. <laughs> he has new mods. And of course, like most of the syndicates, have to wait until he's gone. These are sentinel mods. There is four, uh, three. Carriers... I'm actually looking for it now. I don't know where it is. There it is. Looter has been reworked. It destroys crates within 12 meters and works way better than it did. There is obviously Worm. This, well, you can see what it does. 
it's weird, but at the same time very useful. Prevents status effects from applying to its owner every five seconds. That could make Worm really worthwhile. Same with, yeah, Jin. Probably still gonna get wrong for pronouncing that wrong. Upon death, automatically revives itself after 90 seconds. So, immortal Jin. Uh, yeah. Why can't that mod be for every other one? And also, where's shades and where's death cubes? Do they not get one of these? Be and I'm saying that because Helios already has one in here, so high possibility there will be more of these coming because they're obviously forgetting a few sentinels. There is also a new widget for the synthesis scanner. It will now show targets enemy now show enemy targets, weaknesses and resistances. Then there is the slight rework to the Scrambus. These guys now do that. They charge up before releasing anything, so you can actually get out of their way while they're doing that. They have also, as you can see in the bottom right there, made some changes to the fishing. Wow, that's big. Now, get out. Thank you. So, it's kind of a quick menu. You can just kind of throw them down now, but if you bring the wheel up, it's for some reason not swapping it. So, if you want to change the spear, you've got to hold one. And there's the spears. Same with the the bait. Yes, the baits. And the same with the colour die. I only have one of those. So they're on independent wheels now, which kind of makes it easier. How did I miss you? Oh, there's one actually just kind of falling in there. The Targans. These things, if you are Loki, you can switch, teleport, and pull the captains or the pilots out of it. But now you can actually shoot the enemies out of it, which weirdly just kind of happened. I wasn't shooting at it, it just kind of fell out of the sky as you've seen there. There's one! Let's go after that one. Let's take this with wit. So you can now shoot them out of these things. Can you gain some altitude please? Hello? Up! Thank you. And you are able to... If I can... Oh, you know what these things fly like. Let me out. Thank you. They don't actually die now. When you shoot the... There goes the pilot. It falls to the sky, the ground, all graceful like. Well, I found one. I've been following it for a while, but... Oh, there it goes. And now I'm in control. Oh, that is actually quite cool. I wish I could remember... I've could have sworn this thing had rockets on it but I just for some reason cannot get it to work I don't know why but let's be honest just the ability to be able to kind of swap Loki swap into it yeah that makes this these things just way more usable than they were before then there is Saren's rework her first ability, there's now this counter thing in the bottom right that says one infected. That, yeah, um, I don't, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I get this to go past one infected. Weirdly, it now does corrosive, so you'll see the armor is actually being stripped from enemies. Throw it on the one at the back and you'll see that the armor will eventually be stripped off. It now has a 50% chance of doing status rather than 10 and of course especially with it now being corrosive instead of the toxin it was before one thing i don't think anybody's going to like molt works pretty much the same as it did before according to everything i can find apart from when you cast it you now get a speed it uh, buff uh slight issue uh you can't cast your first ability on it now with molt it's actually got a scaling thing to it so that it does have a little thing in the corner that shows you that but the weird one is kind of toxic lash while active it adds toxin damage so this toxin toxin side of it has kind of stayed and you can kind of see particles and everything come off the weapon and it will add toxin to a weapon no matter what weapon you have and what's on it it will add toxin and you can see it taking effect on everybody there 
the duration has gone from 30 seconds to 45 so it will now last longer and this is the really sad, kind of sad pointless maybe where everybody starts seeing this could be a huge bad thing um Ah, not what I wanted to do. I wanted to cast you on there and then throw some more over there and throw some on there. And pop the spores. And now everybody's infected. Hence, six infected in the bottom right. It's just my sentinel keeps shooting at them. But yeah, you can't anymore activate this and then shoot the bubbles and get any energy back. That is not a thing anymore. It has straight up gone. So now with all her changes, because I'm not doing a separate video on this, I may go back and play with her build, but I've just taken all the mods off to let this infected count on the bottom right go up. They've actually flipped everything, and Miasma no longer does the corrosive. Spores does. Miasma now does... Oh, it's, now has 100% guaranteed... Viral status effect, so it halves the enemy's health. Hmm. The range has been increased from tw uh, 15 to 20 meters. The duration has been increased. This was explained during prime time last week, I think it was. And this was all done because, as you can see, this whole time, Spores has been infecting these six enemies over here and it is continuing to grow. It might actually take them out before I'm finished. Actually, one of them is about to... Huh. This is an unmodded Saren, by the way. Uh, yeah, that actually works pretty effectively. But obviously, if you now use Miss Miasma, and I'm trying to get this right, it's ranges better, and it just generally... Still works pretty much the same, but you'll notice all of them lost pretty much half the health instantly. And with the other elemental stuff, yeah. This scales so nicely just from being in here for a short period of time and playing with it. I never used Saren correctly, hence I didn't run Saren that often. But seeing what it can do now that Spores has Corrosive and you can just spam it on... Pretty much everybody, like you could before, because it just kind of spreads and Messiah, my, my asthma, I've go, got to get that right. Now having the ability to half the health and just clear the map like this, yeah, her rework shows a lot of promise, but diehard Saren fans may not like this at all. Then there was the Ceramic Dagger, it has been given a new look. Now, previously if you swapped between the Kronos and the Ceramic Dagger, they looked the same, you just held it different. Whereas now, if you swap between them, you can see, yeah, that's actually, it looks like it's just much bigger than it was before. But it actually isn't, the handle looks slightly different with the angle. There's supposed to be a change to this menu system here, which as you can see there is. But honestly, this new UI type system doesn't look that bad. I, I don't know if it's on purpose or not here either, but that kind of ripped paper outline to the circles gives it that whole old feel to it that I don't really want to spoil too much on the lore or anything else, the storyline around the operators, but... This being the first place it's been implemented has given you a chance to look at it and doesn't look that bad depending on how far these things go into it and obviously we will find that out when it eventually comes around whenever that happens. And lastly there is new particle effects and honestly apart from coming from the end of the gun and the stuff that was in Saren's earlier, it, okay it was kind of particles and then that kind of thing. Yes, it looks way nicer than it was before. That lightning has not stopped yet. Before it was kind of jumping here and there, but this is pretty much constant. But it's mainly those effects from the Warframe that you'll kind of notice that and the particles from whatever element you have on the end of your weapon. It looks really nice though. It's just one of those subtle changes. You're not going to notice that much until that happens and you can see the particle effects in Saren's hand. 
obviously differs from all different frames. It's just that lightning there. I'm not sure if that's been one of the ones affected by it or touched by this because it does say that they haven't done all the particles, just a lot of them. They're going to be doing more over the next few updates. So some of them haven't been affected yet. So I'm not sure if that has, but it seems to be going off the lightning more than it was before. But we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.